suggested that I try tapping. Try dead blow. Finally got this thing apart. So all the cells look like they're spot welded together. Uh, we've got voltage probes to each cell group. So it looks like we've got a total of eight cells in a four series, two parallel connection. Got two temperature sensors, one at each end of the cell bank and this is our temperature and voltage probe connection and then we've got our heat connection uh, the heater let's see heating is just on the one long face of the bank this guy right here is the whole heating pad uh, shows it's a 180 watt heating pad uh, similar to what we saw on some of the other Epic batteries that I've torn down, uh, we've got big aluminum cell compression plates at each end and then uh, metal strapping. That strapping is then wrapped in heat shrink tape uh, to avoid any um, short circuit kind of potential. Um, Pretty nicely constructed, but I can't see yet. I'm gonna try and peel back a little bit of the protective plastic is the QR code. I can just see the edge of the QR code peering out. Yeah, looks like there's a little bit there, so I'm gonna try and cut this. And just score the protective foam without scoring the battery. Let's see if we can peel under that. Okay. So the foam's out. There's our QR code. Take a quick picture of that. And we will then Use a QR, or excuse me, a cell decoder. Let's see if, okay, so we're gonna copy the cell ID. Copy, search for LFP QR decoder. Okay. So these are Eve cells, produced 28th of July of 23, 3.2 volt cells, 230 amp hour capacity. Uh, no, no great surprise there. 